Hey everybody, welcome to Road Trip Dave. We're gonna take a trip on a tugboat in the Charleston Harbor. Hope you enjoy it. I'm actually going to provide minimal narration on this video so you can just relax and enjoy the ride. As we pull from the dock for the start of our ride, I do want to point out that I have a Facebook page now. So please like my page at facebook.com slash roadtripdave1. I also got on Twitter, so please follow me there as well at twitter.com slash roadtripdave. At this point, we're coming towards one of the many bridges around the Charleston port. My brother-in-law's tug was called to pull out a large container ship from docking, as you can see right here. There's the other tugboat that also helps them out with their jobs. As you can see, this container ship is huge. This ship is so large that it cannot turn around by itself and head out to sea without the tugboats first pulling the ship away from the dock, then physically pushing the boat around. And in this video, we get to see how they will do it. Watch this, guys. Watch this. This is going to be cool. You really think you can go higher? Really? All right. Yeah. Big pressure. Woo. <gasps> Not that high. You can eat that ice. I have to say that it was a little nerve-wracking getting this close to such a big ship. I don't know how the pilots do it without getting a little nervous themselves. Right here, the container ship pulls the tugboat line up to secure it. Many of you probably wonder why seagulls hang out behind tugboats like this. Well, the engine propellers actually stir up shellfish and other things that the birds can eat. And here you can see the line getting taut as the tugboats hit the engines in reverse and pull the Maersk Columbus away from the terminal dock. Once we get the ship away from the dock, our tugboat then has to find the point on the ship's front, or bow, to start pushing the ship. It does all take place very slowly, since you don't want to ram the side of the ship or anything.
do we keep buying them? The money's actually the same size. It's more of more of them. It's more of them. That's what them pilots like. Do you have checks? Oh, you know what this is? You know, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you what this is. Okay, this is something important. It doesn't look very good. Because the engines are running on full power here and we're pushing a huge ship, the cockpit does rattle a bit. Some parts of that I didn't put on video because I was trying to reassure my kids that everything was okay. All right, we got the container ship turned around and now she's heading for the harbor and out to sea. Meanwhile, we're heading back to the dock. As part of procedure, the tugboat has to test its fire suppression systems on each trip with one water cannon on the bow here and one on the stern. Oh, here it goes. Let's get some water cannons. This is how tugboats are an enormous benefit to the Coast Guard and city fire departments as they can basically become firefighters on the water. Over to the left, you can see a building with a Clemson Tiger paw on the front of it as shown in this close-up. That building is the Warren Lash Conservation Center, where you can see the H.L. Hunley, the first combat submarine to sink a warship. We're now in the engine room, which, as you can tell, is pretty loud. These are the two diesel engines that turn the engine props. This is the fire suppression system that turns on those water cannons that you saw earlier. But everything's redundant. We got a system for everything. Instead of just... We are now in the heart of the ship where you can see the mechanical systems for the engines and propellers. It is really loud because this is where the boat's power generator is running. And here we are, back at the dock. What a way to finish Thanksgiving Day when I filmed this. Everybody, that wraps up this trip for today please like this video please make a comment and don't forget to subscribe we got more videos coming your way until then laters